Warning, the following show features stunts performed by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Accordingly, outlaw and the producers must insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt or activity performed on the show. What's up, guys and chicks? Outlaw Greaser here, and this is going to be the Viva pre-party. Because I just picked up Gillian. He come from Scotland. He's coming to Viva Las Vegas for the Greaser Gathering this year. So I'm just going to be showing him around, and it's pretty much going to be the pre-party before Viva. Because we're going to be stopping Hernando's Hideaway. We're going to be going around Grayson, and we're going to be uh, just touring Bill Street, the Peabody Hotel, all kind of Memphis stuff. So, if you want to see the Memphis area, you're going to like this video. And if you ain't ever been here, maybe this will help you out and uh, help you make up your mind if you want to come here or not. So, without any further ado, we're going to get to some of the stuff we found earlier today, which ain't very much. After I picked him up from the flight, he was pretty tired. And uh, we called it a night. We went out to the bar a little bit, though. Played a little, couple games of pool. Had a couple beers. And, uh... Just dropped him back off to the hotel now. I'm heading home, got work in the morning. But after that, it's Friday, and I ain't gotta work until Monday and Tuesday, and then it's time to go to Viva. So, all until then, this is the Viva pre-party. Hope y'all enjoy. Stay greasy, keep it rockin' Billy, and most certainly, stay tuned. Say hi, Gillian. Let's go, cats. We're here at the Bay's Inn. Off of Elvis Presley Boulevard by the Rock and Roll Cafe. Got him tucked in just right. Right down there is Elvis' house in my pretty truck. You ain't treating me right, baby. You ain't treating me right. That's why I walk out some stormy night. Who will make this out? What do you recommend? Barbecue, barbecue, and more barbecue. <laughs> Look at this beauty. It's Friday now, about one o'clock. I just got off work, so it's time to rock. Woo! Come on, Memphis, here we go. The weekend now. We're standing in front of Sun Studios. Me and Gillen here, we just walked past it, the original Sun Studios, and we were driving past it going to Bill Street, and they had the door open. Some cat's in there recording, and he's gonna be in Vegas too. And so we asked him, you know, hey, can we just like walk in there for free, you know, and like check it out? And you know, he just let us in. The guy that, you know, actually runs it was like, who are these guys? We eventually got kicked out, but we got to walk into the original Sun Studio, same free. door Elvis walked in, yeah, for free. Now we're jaywalking. Let's go. <laughs> How's it go? Yeah, that's awesome, y'all. That's it right there. Yeah, original Sun Studios. We just got in it for free. Quickly. We got about two it. seconds. Yeah. <laughs> got to see their home setup and everything before they got ready to play. Now we're heading to Bill Street. See y'all. Stay greasy. Keep it rocking. <laughs> Pretty good time tonight at Bill Street. Didn't get into much, but we got lost a lot. We had the mufflers though fall off of the truck today while we were riding down the road. So I just want to show y'all what this damn thing sounds like now. <laughs> right, I can't show you where the keys are stashed. <laughs> Taking a little smoke break. 
Well, we got some history of the Hernandez Hideaway. We didn't know what year was this place involved. Oh, 1820? 1820 is when this place was built and bought or established one. And you see every plantation home. Now, so let me show you this building real quick before we go on and talk about it. This is the Hernandez Hideaway right here. And uh, world famous, apparently. Elvis Presley played here. Uh, Jerry Lee Lewis has played here. John Pat Domino. Pat Domino. Did they say Johnny Cash? Yeah, I think they said Johnny Cash. John Johnny Burnett, the rock and roll trio. Yeah. So it's Charlie Rich. It's literally just been like the hangout hideaway for all the rockabilly cats, honky tonk, and etc. So when I go back in there, I'm going to show y'all the pictures on the wall. Every picture on the wall is someone who's played there back in the past. So let's so, go get a little history of that. So Jerry Lee Lewis called to his uh, office. He was here so much. Yeah, he's at, they actually got his personal couch that he donated to it on the back where the band hangs out, and I got to sit on it. That's really cool. Yeah, man, I'm, I was super stoked with the Jerry Lewis is my favorite. But yeah, I just wanted to fill y'all in on that. We're still hanging out here. We might hit up another place tonight. It just depends on how we're feeling. Yeah. But we're definitely out GTFOing. Yeah. Painting the town. So y'all yep. <laughs> stay tuned. Paint the town greasy. Stay greasy. <laughs> Keep it rockabilly. <laughs> Stage. That's the new stage, obviously. But uh, yeah, Elvis Presley, Johnny Burnett, Johnny Cash, all of them played right here, entertaining the, entertaining the crowd out there. I'm guessing. So uh, we shut this one down. They're closing for the night. We just paid the tab, and we're trying to find somewhere else to go. So any suggestions? All right, well, cats and chicks, I brought Gillian out here to the Mississippi River. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but across that river is Arkansas. Right here is just the hangout spot. Like he said, perfect spot to bring your chick to. And trust me, I brought plenty of them here. Um, turn the camera around for you here. That's our Mississippi River. Like I said, across from that bank is Arkansas. And a uh, bunch of trails that go off into the woods out that way. Um, but yeah, bring Johnny out here a lot. It's about one in the morning here. Yeah, 12.58. So, we just trying to find stuff to do because we ain't ready to call it a night yet. Well, cats and chicks just dropped him off at the hotel. I'm heading back to the house. It is like two in the morning. We closed him down tonight. <laughs> and uh, literally couldn't find another bar to go to. So, um, took him out to Tunica, took him to the Mississippi River. Took him to Bill Street. Took him to Hernando's Hideaway. That was all one night. Ain't no telling what we're gonna do tomorrow. So, dear Lord, and old Bonnie Blue, carry me home. Day three. All right, cats and chicks. We just got down eating breakfast. We went to Country Skillet. How was it? Very good. First piece of gravy. Biscuits and gravy, sausage plate, hash browns, etc. And, brown, and, and uh, took him out to a western store so they could get him out. And he almost bought a $400 pair of boots. But now we're going to the gun show because this fella can't own guns no 
over there. I don't think he's ever going to need to see another gun again after this. Four or five years ago, this dude, I know one of his buddies had some land in uh, Marshall County, and they had uh, pictures of a black bear on his trail camera. Yeah, Like exactly. five or six times. That's what we got, black bear. Oh, uh, we own like probably like 45 acres of woods. Not a whole lot. This trail just kind of goes around and circles back around and comes back out behind the house. This is almost like a Mississippi Grand Canyon or something. <laughs> <laughs> it goes like way up over there on the tree. You see where the big yeah, trees are yeah. over there? That's where the hills start coming down. And the same thing for over there. And there's no telling how deep the water is. How long does this place be about? Similar to back home, the sandstone you got home. This is all dug out by man, though. This is natural. You know, I gotta take him to the Lewis Ranch. Wouldn't be a proper tour of Memphis if it wasn't taking him to the Lewis Ranch. Come on, Jerry Lee! Get out of there! I wanna hear you play the piano one time! Hell yeah! <laughs> So, oh, as you saw, we went riding around. We got him some new Levi's today. We went to the Levi's store. We went to the Western store. He got all kind of new stuff. Much you know, cheaper than the fat cool. Yeah, but he's spending all his money right now before we get to Vegas, so. I no, mean. not all of <laughs> This is essentials. So, so, we're about to go back to the hideaway again, and I've got two girls coming up there to hang out with me. He's a dog. So, I don't know how that's going to work. One of them, I got their number last night at the hideaway, and then the other one, uh, I haven't met her yet, so I don't know what she looks like, and that's kind of uh, scary to me. But, we'll see how it goes. We're going to be up there. I'm meeting another buddy up there, and we're all going to be playing pool. And there's always a live band, so stay greasy, stay tuned. Maybe it's not such a bad thing that I got two chicks coming because if one's ugly, then you know I've always got my pick at the other one. You know. Well, cats and chicks, we shut them down tonight again. Shut down Hernando's hideaway. God damn it! <laughs> and we pulled in, pulled into this little spot here called the what? B. What is it? The second B or the B52? I don't know something like that. It's some kind of rock and belly honky tonk joint, so we're gonna check it out and see what's going on. It's past midnight, they close at three, so we'll probably close them down too. So, everything went well with the chicks though. One kind of flaked off, and the other one's gonna be coming back tomorrow. So, everything's looking good. Well, cats and chicks, this bar is fucking crazy. Um, uh, I've never even been to this place before, neither has he. Nope. This is my buddy Ronnie right here. And, uh, Loser. We, what is this place called? Y'all know? And it is full of fucking drug ass, man. Like, they're offering us coke. Far right. They're offering us coke. They're offering us weed. They're I went for a piss, and the first guy I talked to asked me if I was just sick. Man, it's nah, crazy. It's not man. my bag. Yeah, but there, I mean, it's just, it's just a crazy ass place. Like, check it with me, I'm gonna tell Right, yeah, have a jolly good time. But, I mean, it's just like, whatever you fucking want, it's, it's, it's at this place, man. Drugs, women. We're at New Side. Staying up here until like 3 in the damn morning. Hell yeah, brother. Give it a look in. This is the craziest place I've ever been to, man. It's like a wild west. You never know what you're going to encounter here. So, everything apart from pistols. Yeah, this is Memphis, Tennessee. I don't know what we're going to come through in Vegas. So, stay tuned. Keep it. All right, so we're leaving the place here, but I just thought I'd give you all a little look at the inside. You walk through those two front doors there. Of course, there's Gillian flipping you off. What's <laughs> new? And then there's the storefront windows that I fucking clean. And you go in there, and that's the bar. So you walk back here, and you can just fucking hang out. Bathroom. And it's crazy. You see people on drugs out here in the hallway. People on drugs in the bathroom, sorting drugs, holding the door closed, not letting people out. It's insane. And it's five in the morning. And us two cats have closed down every bar in town. 
Ten till five. It'll be over five by the time we get home. Um, there's no telling what Sunday holds for us at this point. So, you cats and ticks, just stay tuned, stay greasy, and keep it careful. Taking it very, very slow today. You know, not feeling any loud noises. Um, no hyper movement. Just a real laid back day. Had a damn good time last night. Man, shut them down. Again, I didn't get home till 6 o'clock in the morning. Feel kind of bad about the chick thing a little bit because the first chick come to hang out with me and she got blew off kind of when the second one showed up. And uh, I paid for the second girl's cover, but, you know, told the door guy pay for the second one, not the first. But, you know, we had a good time. It is what it is. You know, the thing is, the, the other one was older, you know, the second one was closer to my age, so, you know, hey, what do you expect? Um, today, though, I'm going to go over to my buddy Mullet's house and let Gillen tour the, uh, well, shit, my buddy's house. He decorated his whole house in 50s stuff, so, and he's got a couple hot rod cars, so, that'd be cool for him to see. Driving a truck like this sucks when you have a hangover. I don't even want to demonstrate because it hurts my damn head. And that's the only time you'll ever, ever see or hear of Outlaw turning rock and roll music down just a little bit. Cause, Dad go home. What kind of pomade do you review in there? Need it for something. I don't know what I'm gonna need this wrist for, but I might need it for something. 
Um, uh, ain't never good to have a bad rib. It ain't gonna stop me. Though. I'm still gonna go. Of course. And uh, I ain't going to the knock. So, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm heading to work. And uh, I'll get off probably around 1, 2, and 3.
Cheers. Cheers. Brought him over here to the old school little car garage. Alright y'all, tonight's the last night pretty much. Well, tomorrow's technically the last night, but I don't have to work the day after tomorrow. Wednesday we're going straight to the airport first thing in the morning and it's time to go. I just dropped Gillen off again. I'm heading back home. You go to bed, you go to work in the morning. We had a pretty good day today. I took him downtown to Collierville, showed him around that old little fifties town. Took him into the diner there at Dyer's that I showed y'all. And uh, it was just a pretty cool time, you know, just another laid back day because we couldn't stay out late because of work in the morning. Uh, he actually met my mother tonight and my grandmother cooked us a nice home cooked meal so he got to enjoy southern hospitality. Um, after we ate at Dyer's, you know, southern folks feed you good. But We've had a good night, a good time, and a good pretty party before Beaver. So tomorrow we're going to go to Sun Records and check that out. You know, because we got in there for free and toured a little bit of it. But I figured for the sake of this video, we'd go tour it again. And Gillen would like to buy some stuff there as well. And uh, we'll get some footage of it and put this video so y'all can see inside. So hope y'all enjoy this so far. Uh, I'm trying to make these videos a little shorter because we are running out of time. So one more day. We've got to work tomorrow. And then we're going to go to Sun Records. And then the next morning, bye-bye Memphis, hello Vegas. So hope y'all enjoy this so far and hope y'all enjoy Sun Records tomorrow. I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned. One more day, cats and chicks. One more day. I got one more day. Woo! Can't wait. It's 7 o'clock or 8 something in the dead gum morning. I don't know. Am I going to be late this morning? Oh, it's only 8-4. 8-0-4. Damn bumper snacks to me here. This is bullshit. Nobody wants to hear that shit. All right, y'all. Tomorrow morning, we're boarding the plane, and we'll be meeting up with Crash in Arizona and just riding along, cruising our way down to Las Vegas. So, hope y'all stay tuned. Hope y'all enjoy. That'll be a whole new video in itself. That's going to be the Vegas trip. This right here is the pre-party because we got one more night. One more night. Woo! Well, we made it to Sun Records. Rock and roll. So we'll try to look at the Yeah, we'll try to give you a little look on the inside of it. Why don't you let the sugar all get to the high school to rock Honey, get your bopping shoes. For the jukebox blow the fuse. Hey, everybody hopping. Everybody's bopping. A bopping at the high school hop. Well, the bopping at the high school to hop. Taking at the high school hop. Oh, many for high school hop. We're rocking at the high school hop. Well, they wouldn't let us inside. Ooh, let the the sugar, let's shake it. This is uh, back. Well, my heart will beat the rhythm, and my feet are moving smooth and slow. Well, I've been at the high school hop. I've been at the high school hop. We're shaking at the high school hop. At the high school, hop. Everybody bopping, everybody rocking. Bopping at the high school, hop. Now let's go! Well, let me tell you something, baby. I'm gonna give you some good news. Well, last night in Memphis, just trying to get on all the other stuff. I had no, my stomach wasn't sitting right the night for some reason. I had caught on earlier the night. We went to Sun Records, got denied, cut for it, ate some food, and I guess that just, I don't know, screwed my stomach up. We went to the Hernanda Hideaway anyway, there 
having some solar on a midnight tonight, so people are that fun for time. I'm heading home, you go to bed, wake up, head to the airport. So it's time to go to Viva Las Vegas, number 25, Rock and Roll Weekend. We're just sitting here in Denver. We just got here about what an hour? No, two hours ago. But an hour ago, hour and a half. And the plans changed. We got all screwed around. So we got to Memphis this morning. Well, no, not this morning. Our flight got canceled about five times, and then the lightning arrived for about an hour and a half, two hours. We ended up getting our flight delayed pretty much though for at least, you know, most of the day. We didn't end up getting here until just a minute ago and we should be in uh, oh, a nine o'clock nine AM start flight to uh eight thirty flight. PM. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. PM. PM. We had a crazy flight over here once we got once we got here. It was horrible, especially for Gillen over here, poor guy. He had a screaming baby in his ear all night long. And instead of a hot college chick that it could have been. But we're here, we're in Denver, and we're going to make it to Vegas by tomorrow morning and be a day late. I'm going to have to pay for an extra hotel room even though we didn't get to use it. But we're still going to Vegas, and we're going to meet up with Crash in Vegas instead of riding with Crash in Arizona to Vegas. So, a bunch of shit's got messed around. But we're yeah. making it work. Right now, we're taking us a smoke break out here on the stair set because we obviously ain't allowed to smoke in there. Four hour smoke break. And we're spending <laughs> the night at the Denver airport because, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. At baggage check in because security's closed. <laughs> yeah, at baggage check. We don't even get to go into the airport. It ain't easy being greasy. So, we'll see you when we get to Vegas. I'll start the new video when we meet up with Crash. We're gonna try to get some sleep here tonight and board the next flight at, what, eight in the morning? Something like that. <laughs> yep. So, stay greasy, keep it rockabilly, and... <laughs> yeah, foe, motherfucker.